Oi, gente. Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Vivian Flanzer, the director of the Portuguese language program in the Department of Spanish and Portuguese at the University of Texas at Austin. And today I'm going to talk about studying Portuguese here at UT Austin. Um, by the end of this presentation, you will learn that studying Portuguese will open many amazing academic, professional, and personal doors. And I think that you'll be excited to take our classes. So um, I will be talking about uh, why study Portuguese, why study Portuguese at UT Austin, our courses, and best of all, our unique methods and teaching styles. Stay tuned for this part of the presentation. And also we'll show you some testimonies from our students. So why study Portuguese? You study Portuguese so you'll become knowledgeable about the amazing Luso-Afro-Brazilian culture. In other words, the culture of Portugal, Brazil, and several countries in Africa. You'll be able to meet new people, make new friends, because few Americans speak Portuguese, it is highly marketable skills. Several of our students got great jobs in different areas because they could communicate in Portuguese. So students um, who were studying business, um, humanities, law, medicine, all types of science, technology, uh, they got amazing jobs because they know Portuguese. I even had one student that after taking two semesters of Portuguese was hired to work at the World Cup in Brazil. You'll see this, his video a little later. Uh, Brazil has the largest economy in Latin America and the ninth largest in the world. If you already speak Spanish, you can become trilingual and work anywhere in Latin America. The National Security Agency considers Portuguese a critical language. So critical language are those less common taught languages in which the demand for proficient speakers exceeds the supply. Over 230 million people speak Portuguese, which is among the top 10 most widely spoken languages in the world. Why study Portuguese at the University of Texas at Austin? First, you have the opportunity to study abroad and guard in gorgeous and culturally rich Salvador da Bahia and San Juan del Rey. And uh, here are some pictures of the attractions of these beautiful, beautiful places. We have small classes that meet often, typically three times a week. So what happens is that we all know each other really well. Most of our students become friends for life and uh, one couple even got married. We, so you'll get personalized attention from faculty who care, be part of an amazing community, and have a lot of fun. Let's not forget that. We use language for reading, writing, speaking, and listening. And you can expect the balance of these four skills in our classes. You'll become proficient fast, knowledgeable about the loser afro Brazilian culture. You enjoy great music, movies, and literature. And you can fulfill a foreign language requirement in just two or three semesters. Let's take a look at the Portuguese language courses we offer. So in our regular track, um, you will have three semesters. We start with Portuguese 601D, then Portuguese 610D, and in the third semester, Portuguese 311C, our conversation culture class, and Portuguese 314C, the intermediate writing and grammar in context. Now, if you are a Spanish speaker or a Portuguese heritage speaker, you can fulfill the language requirement in just two semesters, which is uh, pretty amazing, right? You take Portuguese 610S, Portuguese for Spanish speakers, which is a combination of Portuguese 601D and 610D, and then you go to Portuguese 311J and Portuguese 314J, which is equivalent uh, to Portuguese 311C and Portuguese 314C. So the good news is that all courses are offered in the spring and in the fall semester. So you can start your Portuguese track whenever it's best for you. Of course, if you can start right in the beginning, it's better because you can take advantage of our upper division classes and also um, even going abroad uh, to Brazil, who knows? <laughs> 
Once you finish the language track, you'll be able to take courses about the Luso-Afro-Brazilian world taught in Portuguese in areas such as cultural studies, literature, cinema, music, and linguistics. But the main reason to study Portuguese here at UT Austin is our unique methods and teaching style. So we teach our courses with authentic materials. So authentic materials are materials that are produced by native speakers to a native speaker audience, um, such as videos, short stories, or literature in general, movies, newspaper, art, newspaper articles, soap operas, you, you name it. So we, when we're teaching with authentic materials, we're teaching language in the context of culture. At the same time, as you learn the Portuguese language, you'll be learning about the Luso Afro-Brazilian culture and society in a fun and very interesting way. We work both with formal and informal authentic materials. So you'll be prepared to use Portuguese in an academic and professional setting, but also for communicating in your day-to-day -day life. In fact, in our intermediate courses, we don't use a textbook, but an open education, educational resource or an OER. So open educational resources are free materials for teaching and learning. In our case, we use Clico Brasil, a free website with tons of activities and authentic readings and videos of Portuguese speakers. So you will learn from real people speaking spontaneously like traveling to Brazil without leaving the classroom or your laptop. We also take advantage of technology. We have great Wi-Fi here at UT. Our Portuguese language program has, teaches our classes in smart classrooms with big screens and projectors and a computer. Our students can bring their laptops or their phones uh, to our course to interact in class. And um, sometimes we also teach via Zoom. Finally, we take diversity into consideration. We work with a wide range of authentic materials from the Luso Afro Brazilian world. And in our website, Click of Brazil, with videos from several Brazilians from all walks of life, including different regions, age, professional, and social background. Because, you know, not everybody speaks the same way all the time. Right? We use different words and different expressions to communicate the same thing or almost the same thing. So the words we choose will depend on the context of the interaction and on the identity of the speakers. Uh, the different regions where they're from, the relationships they have with each other, for example. So let's say you are on campus and you're see your best friend you probably greet them saying, um, hey, what's up, or something like that. Now, if you happen to see your professor on campus, you might say, good morning, Professor X, or hello, or you might even turn the other way and pretend you didn't see them, so you don't greet them. Um, so language is connected with context, right? The context of the situation and the identity of who is speaking and who is hearing. And we work with that and we discuss this a lot in our classes. In fact, we use an inductive approach. So that means that instead of giving our students the rules and examples and then asking them to practice, we work with authentic materials and guide our students into analyzing language in context, prompting them to figure out the rules by themselves. Of course, this is followed by a class discussion where all necessary explanations will be given. Um, what is cool about this approach is that at the same time as our students are learning Portuguese, they're also developing critical thinking, cross-cultural and analytical skills. And these skills will be super useful, not only for your college and professional career, but for your life in general. So let's watch a video in which Dr. Daniel Bradford, an attorney and physician who studied Portuguese as an undergraduate, tell us about his trajectory. E aí, amigos? I understand you're thinking about studying Portuguese. Well, I think that's a fine idea. My name is Dr. Daniel Bradford. I'm a physician and attorney. I did well in law and medicine in no small part to having majored in Portuguese when I was in college. 
I'm sure you're wondering how that is. When you study a language, its literature and grammar, you're doing two things to your brain. You're strengthening and building logic circuits, and you're opening up your mind to new perspectives, learning the universals and variation of the human condition. That is, you're exercising an essential skill, one that has served me more than any other in life, the ability to communicate clearly and with empathy. And you get to do that through the lens of the Portuguese-speaking world, which connects you all across the globe, from Japan to Brazil, the Iberian Peninsula to Mozambique. It is the story of humanity's greatest achievements and biggest sins, and studying this story will leave you better prepared to confront the future. It did for me. O mundo lusófono te espera. Pretty cool, right? We usually get so focused when we're learning Portuguese that we tend to forget that we are also building critical thinking, analytical skills, and as Dr. Bradford says, opening our minds to new perspectives. These are very important skills applicable in different areas and that will definitely make you stand out. So um, here's an example of how we work with authentic materials. In our free website, students watch a video with a, with a Portuguese speaker. Then they do listening comprehension activities about the video. And at the same time, they're learning about the culture and society. In this activity here, uh, they're learning grammar in the context of a reading, in this case, a funny short story that's related uh, to the video. As I mentioned before, we work with the four skills simultaneously, and you will walk away from our courses prepared to give formal presentations and write academic papers, but also to speak and write in informal situations, such as sending text messages, for instance. You'll be a well-rounded communicator in Portuguese. And finally, our classes are fun. We laugh a lot and our assignments are very enjoyable. For instance, you will work with videos that you will listen to and even make your own, role plays, you're gonna write commercials, uh, song lyrics, poems, and do a lot of reenactments. So here's an example of a reenactment that my students did recently on their second semester Portuguese. So first I'm gonna show a little bit of the original scene. Caroline, por favor. Oi, Caroline. Olá, tudo bem? Tudo bem? Esse caldo é um consomé, um caldo clarificado de abacaxi e de porco. Posso colocar? Ah, sim, claro. So uh, I will show now my students' reenactment, and they made this during the pandemic when we were meeting via Zoom exclusively. Carol. Here's their reenactment. Por favor. Oi, Caroline, tudo bem? Esse caldo a consumé é um caldo qualificado de abacaxi e de pouca por açúcar. Ah, sim? Claro. Bonito. Obrigada. E as guiosas? Fiz a guisola com pernil caramelizado e com curi. Eu fiz também picos de chalota e de gengibre. Obrigada. Quanto mais de abacaxi com porco? Um pouco isso. Com um pouquinho de médio pura e gengibre. Obrigada. Não, obrigada. Já com... They had a lot of fun doing this, and the rest of the class also enjoyed watching it. It was really nice during the pandemic to see the class laughing together and participating so actively. And needless to say, they learned a lot um, doing this activity. So last but not least, we have the Portuguese flagship program here at UT Austin. And this program is structured to complement the students' Portuguese studies here at UT. It offers exciting opportunities such as weekly group or one-on-one -on -one tutorials through Skype uh, with our partners in Brazil, 
rich cultural events, such as Bate Papo, professional lecture series, movie nights, high schools, a capstone year studying in Minas Gerais, Brazil, at the Universidade Federal de São João del Rey, a semester-long internship in Brazil, summer abroad in Salvador da Bahia, and various scholarships to fund your studies. This is super important. And here's the link to our flagship program in case um, you are interested. So let's hear now uh, some testimonies from our students and see what they say about the program. Remember I mentioned that I had once one student who had just finished his second semester uh, Portuguese with me and was hired to work as an interpreter for the international press at the World Cup. His Portuguese was so good that they assigned him to be just behind the goal in the stadium. It's a pretty amazing story. And this was Miguel. Let's hear uh, what he has to say. Bom dia, gente. My name is Miguel Cobos. I am 31 years old. I was part of the Portuguese language learning program at the University of Texas in 2016. I'd like to give you all three points of why I believe this is the program that has helped me most throughout my life uh, thus far. Point number one is the professional aspect. Um, I studied management information systems at the University of Texas. Uh, this is a degree that helps you land a lot of interviews that lead to jobs, yet no, it does not compare to what Portuguese has done for me professionally. Uh, as soon as I finished Professor Black's program 2014, I ended up being a volunteer for the World Cup uh, in Brazil. So that helped me excel my Portuguese level a bit better. And when I came back, given that I had already done some technology internship with FIFA, uh, I landed a support engineer role at a cybersecurity company. Four or five years later, I, I've grown throughout my career um, in multiple jobs, all within Latin America, all helping me uh, all within Portuguese and Spanish. And I now am the technical account manager for Dropbox for all of Latin America. Um, point number two is the cultural aspect. Uh, Brazil is a country full of dance, music, food. Um, so just being able to dance for whole and being able to talk to people with it fills, fills my heart of joy. Um, I think most Latin Americans don't really engage in the Portuguese aspect of Latin America. Uh, even though Brazil is about 230 million people, so I feel if you consider yourself a Latin Americanist and you're not doing Portuguese, you're missing about 30 or 40% of Latin America. So that's really fulfilling for me to, to know this language. And point number three is that I was not, um, the top level student whatsoever in Professor Flasser's class. I was always more of a jokester, but I never gave up. Um, and I think this is the most important point of all, uh, because I think most of us that have been through school understand that school is for those that follow rules, but in language learning, you can try to follow rules, but really what helps you is making as many mistakes as possible. So the real, trick to learning anything is to never give up. And uh, I work with executives day, day to day in Portuguese. And again, oh, it's not the top of my class. So I owe that a lot to Professor Francer and the Portuguese language program at UT. Uh, so thank you, that was me. I really love what he says about making mistakes, right? It's so true. In our courses, we create a very safe, comfortable environment in which students are not scared or embarrassed of making mistakes. Quite the opposite. They're encouraged to learn from them. And this is how we grow. This is how we acquire knowledge. Anyhow, I'm very proud of Miguel and of everything he has uh, accomplished. Let's hear now from my uh, former student, Africa. Hello, my name is Africa. I am a second year psychology and Portuguese major with a minor in philosophy of law. I intend on one day becoming a human rights lawyer in Latin America, which is why I initially took Portuguese to fulfill my language requirements. 
However, as soon as I started, I knew I wanted it to be more than that. So I ended up double majoring in it. <laughs> and I think what I love the most about the Portuguese program at UT is that your professors do a great job at making you feel at home. You really feel known and like you have a voice in the class, which is great for building community, but it's also great for keeping you accountable. <laughs> so you know you're not slacking off and you're actually learning Portuguese and not wasting your time. Um, as a matter of fact, I think Portuguese was my most successful class and transitioning from in-person to online. So I really appreciated that from the professors and I encourage you to join us if you can. I couldn't agree with her more. We know each of our students very well and they definitely have a voice in the classroom. And uh, so Africa, she took Portuguese to fulfill the language requirement and ended up double majoring in um, Portuguese and psychology. And this actually happens quite often. Our students come to our program, they love our program and mainly end up switching majors, getting a minor in Portuguese or double majoring like her. So now I am gonna show you Lucas' video. And uh, Lucas is a double major in biochemistry and sociology, planning to apply to medical school. In the Portuguese program at UT, I had some amazing professors that helped me learn both the language and the culture of Portuguese speaking countries. And I've been able to use my skills in the real world where working in a pharmacy, I've been able to help Angolan immigrants find the medicine and health care they needed. I remember how happy Lucas was as we were only in the beginning of his second Portuguese semester and he could already communicate with Angolan immigrants at the pharmacy he worked, helping them to have access to medication. He felt uh, so accomplished and I feel so proud of you, Lucas. And last but not least, let's hear Nyla. The Portuguese program at UT Austin is like a second family to me. While being part of the program, I haven't only learned the language, but have acquired a deeper understanding of the Brazilian culture that I don't think you could find at any other institution. Every class was full of joy and excitement, and our amazing faculty makes sure to create a comfortable environment where learning is facilitated. I couldn't be happier to be part of this community. So uh, I love to hear that she considers uh, Portuguese, our Portuguese language program, as her second family and how she feels confident about her language and cultural skills, and that she felt joy and excitement along the way. And I'm sure you will too when you join our program. So um, here is a link to our departmental website, and um, you can also in there find my email address. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, I hope to see you in class soon. Thank you very much. Muito obrigada. Tchau. Tchau, gente.